When I made bubble dang bubble PG4L, I dropped that bag, gon' put them chains on them. Hey, In the name of Bubba, this gorilla got his name on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got the black hat, get it on with us, we hot. Oh, they can't hold us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The streets, they can't control us. BG4L. Alright, so look, man. Now, BG4L, BG4L, cut throat. Cut throat like that for real. Fools. When I'm out in public, youngin' he be thuggin'. This a whole lot of money on me. Yeah, play with me, we slumpin'. We gon' take a money runnin' through the jungle. Why would I be scared? Count it up, run it up, yeah. All the money I been talking to the dead bitch. Wanna kick him out of bed? I just wanna eat. Yeah, they gon' eat up bread. Put up on your hold up, hold like give me that throat. Boy, don't y'all ever think it's over. BG4 L HSM, I'm cut throat militia like that fool. Now y'all gotta excuse me, right? My bad. Let me have some respect for y'all. I got carried away. It was absolutely no point of me <laughs> having that intro right there. You know, the song was just on my head, man. I don't know what to say. I had I had to get it out. But as you can see from the title, we got to clap it up for number seven and MTM Don Don. Y'all go ahead and clap it up for him real quick. I'm going to give y'all time to clap. Now, it looked like these dudes finally back to do something. Now, MTM Don Don, he at least dropped a music video two months ago. So this is more so about number seven. Boy, this dude dropped his album and left. Well, I don't know what happened. That dude dropped Diary of a Stepper and said, the end. My name is number seven. This is the Diary of a Stepper. The end. That dude ain't dropped no more music, fool. And it's a shame because I like his music. Where the hell you been at, dude? This dude done told us what the diary of a stepper was then Lil. That was a good project too if y'all haven't checked it out yet. Definitely go check it out. I think he dropped it about two years ago. I was actually impressed. That's why I'm so let down that this guy hasn't been dropping music. Y'all already know how I feel about MTM Don Don. That dude could be the biggest thing in Dallas if he wanted to. Probably Texas. But similar to number seven, but on a more lower level, uh, Don Don hasn't been dropping much either. And I understand it, man. Sometimes, hey, rap ain't for everybody, right? Or sometimes life happens. You got to put a pause on rap. But, man, for the type of alley-oop that Mo3 threw to these guys, it's crazy. They could be on top of the world, right? Okay, not, not on top of the world. Let me relax. But they could be on top of Texas right now, man. Once Mo3 died, everybody wanted to hear from uh, Number 7 and Don Don. I mean, they was getting millions of views every single video, but they just stopped dropping music. And for them to be the two artists that Mo3 left with us, because if y'all are lost, uh, Mo3 signed these two guys to his label, HSM. But uh, for them to be what Mo3 left with us, we looking at them to carry the uh, HSM torch. So Mo3 fans just been kind of waiting around, like, you know, who's going to be the next runner up? But it looks like they're not only back doing music, but they're back pushing the HSM brand. Number seven posted this to his story. HSM forever. You want to give them what they waiting on? And he tagged MTM Don Don. Don Don also shared it to his story as well. So it looks like they're cooking up something behind the scenes. Now I wouldn't get my hopes up because you know people be lying though. But if you're a Mo3 fan, this is definitely good news. The bigger these guys become, the longer Mo3 name goes. You get what I'm saying? Same with his brother Kogati, his cousin uh, Ladoo. If one of these dudes blow up, it's going to be an extension to Mo3's legacy. Now, I have no inside information about this, but they definitely got me interested to see what they got going on. Everybody always says it's over for these guys, but I never thought that. I mean, it's always been a consistency problem for me. If both of these dudes drop a mixtape, shoot two or three music videos for it, they're right back in the mix. I mean, MTM Don Don still averages 130,000 uh, Spotify monthly listeners every month. No disrespect, but he hasn't dropped like new music in two years, and he's about to pass Mo3 out. Uh, that Freddy Krueger dude, right? 
he's about to pass him in Spotify monthly listeners like, without dropping music. So imagine what would happen when he actually drops music. Y'all got to understand the difference between fell off and just not dropping music. MTM Don Don never fell off. He just doesn't drop music. Doesn't promote himself. Basically doesn't do anything, right? And that is the only reason you don't hear his name being brought up with Big X the Plug and everybody else right now. That's it. I mean, I know everybody like to uh, talk about Go Yeah Yo right now, but uh, Don Don has more Spotify listeners than him. And again, you got to keep in mind, this is without him dropping music. And number seven, on the other hand, he doesn't have the streaming numbers like Don Don. But like I said, if he put out a mixtape or like drop a music video or two, he'll be right back in the mix. But they just got to take it serious because, I mean, Mo3 fans ain't going to wait around forever, right? I mean, it's been four years, man. We just need one person. Y'all got to get consistent so we can get behind y'all. But it's hard to support when y'all ain't dropping music, man. I can only talk about the old music for so long, right? And have some respect. Man, Mo3 done dropped more music than y'all in the last few years. That dude did time to prove these people wrong man i've been seeing a lot of mtm don don and number seven hate a lot of people switched up but i'm here to tell y'all right now they're back and that alley oop that mo3 threw to them surprisingly it's still up in the air it ain't hit the ground yet folks one of y'all better jump up there grab it and slam it in the hoop man i'm trying to tell you this is an opportunity of a lifetime same thing goes for Cole Gotti too, Mo3 brother. It's the opportunity of a lifetime, man. I know it's bittersweet. You hate for it to be on these circumstances, but y'all gotta take advantage of this, man. Don't let that dude just die in vain like that. He left all this clout to y'all, all these fans to y'all. Go out there and show the world why he believed in you. But anyway, man, how y'all feel about this? Let me know in the comment section, bro. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, man. Hey, man, follow me on Instagram, TZF Baby, 252. There go seven, Big Mac 11. Nigga be jealous, nigga be telling. You got a weapon? Ain't no telling. Ain't no telling. Man, you ain't slick, fool. This dude over there trying to trick us. Ain't no telling. We know you got a gun, man. Hey, number seven, if you hear this, man, do a music video for that song with Money Man. This dude got a whole hit song with Money Man and they ain't even do a music video for it. Same thing with Don Don, right? Uh, that song he got with Young Blue. Hit song. These dudes got the talent. But hey, we'll see. Long Lil Mo 3. I'm gone. Pull up real quick. Gotta go to Ops. Spin back around, nigga, hurry up. Okay. I'm big on summer, yeah, y'all talking to a dead man. Why, I, 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 I. Prolific. Aye. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this industry. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this industry. Aye. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this industry. Aye. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this industry. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this industry. Bitch, I'm in these streets.